Hello everyone and welcome in the second part of this ROC AUC curve. So in our previous video we have seen that when we are changing our threshold our prediction or misclassification rate also changes right. So here the question is what should be the right value for threshold and for that we are going to use this ROC AUC curve and we are going to see at different threshold how well our model is performing all right so let's move forward so ROC helps in deciding the best threshold value by plotting true positive rate versus false positive rate so here let's start off with zero probability okay so we have set this threshold to zero and we say that all the patients are having heart disease all right so here you say that all the patients have the heart disease then what you will do is you will have a confusion matrix here right and from here you are going to calculate your false positive rate and true positive rate and here your false positive rate is 1 minus specificity which is equals to 4 by 4 plus 0 and this comes out to be equals to 1 then you have true positive rate and it is 4 by 4 plus 0 and this again comes out to be 1. Now what we will do is we will plot this on a graph here on the x axis we have the false positive rate and on the y axis we have the true positive rate and at the threshold 0 where you say all of the patient are positive that is they have heart disease this is your point here and now if you connect this point and your origin you see that you divide this graph into two halves right this means simply you are having half true positive rates and half false positive rates so your model here is just doing a random guessing all right so here you are just guessing is as you have half of the values as positive and half of the value as false positive and half of the values as true positive now again what you will do is we are going to increase a threshold a little bit and again we are going to draw this confusion matrix and calculate this true positive rate and false positive rate now this time your true positive rate is 1 and your false positive rate is 0 0.5 so your true positive rate here is high and your false positive rate is low now again you draw this point or plot this point on this graph here and here this point represent the proportion of correctly classified people that have heart disease is greater than the proportion of samples that were incorrectly classified as heart patient right so here is your point which is a bit greater than the zero again what you will do is you are going to change this threshold and again find this confusion matrix draw this confusion matrix and plot this point here and now at this point let's say you have this true positive which is equals to 0 0.75 and your false positive as 0 so here the threshold correctly classifies the 75 percent of the people that had heart disease all right and here 100 percent of the people did not have heart disease were also correctly classified now what you will do is you will join this point by using this curve here and this here is your ROC curve all right so this becomes your ROC curve and you plot all of these points at different threshold points and you see your false positive rate and true positive rate at different 
threshold and here you have this graph here and here the shaded region or the region which is in colored here is becomes your AUC score that is area under curve. So here it is AUC that is area under this curve and higher the AUC better is your model at separating the positives as positives and negatives as negative. So I hope it is clear to you. So you, we use this ROC AUC curve or graph to see how well our model is working at different threshold. So you can choose from this threshold what value you should choose as your threshold when you build your model or when you want to separate this positives and negative. So I hope it is clear to you now. So you check this AUC score higher the AUC area under this ROC curve better is your model. So thank you and I hope you are clear about this ROC AUC curve.